Because that's the thing I can't understand. When people do certain things and I'm like, it's his car. So police is already tracking that. Why wouldn't you think that? Because they thought he was dead. <laughs> My fall partner, uh, I told him, hey, where's the keys? And uh, my fall partner sitting there with him. Well, he's still alive. I said, well, shit, cut his throat. Wow. And my fall partner had found a lock timer, old timer's lock blade. And that thing was duller than his pen is on the side. Thank God. It didn't register to me. If it had, I probably would have told him to get a butcher knife. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Yeah. Mm okay. Get up some tissue. Mm-hmm. Then take a break for a second. Just get him get him some. It's all right, brother. But that you know that, that when you go back to those places where where you where, where all these incidents happen, it's a cleansing point really to be honest with you. So you have to you have to go down those roads just to you know, just to um Really, really, really do some, you know, some soul searching, right? But, but, but at 15 years old, that had to be pretty tough, you know, to, to have to try to fend for yourself early on like that. So, as you was, um, as, as, we're going to get back into it. Thing. Did you ever end? You ended up going to prison. Yeah, I ended up going to prison at the age of uh, nineteen. At nineteen. About you know second, second time went back. You know, had three. Then they gave me an aggravated life sentence for the third time. Wow! They give you aggravated life sentence. Right. What was that for? Well, they uh, took their cases. They did what? Took taking a their case and made them out of aggravated. Wow! Robbery. Do you think this was something that was over over the top? Yes. I th yeah, it was. You see what I'm saying? To take what a, county was it? Where Dallas. Dallas. Mm -hmm. Did, was it a judge or something that had a a, a, a thing to where they was trying to make well, example, make an example. Out of you? Well, not so because the judge that used speaking to the, the mic. The judge that used it being that courtroom, he went and went for it. So they waited and put a visit judge in there. Oh. Okay. And mm. that's how it ended up you getting yeah, aggravated. Like I said, when they knew it was a theft case. Wow. Did you try to appeal it? Uh, meat and cigarette at that. Really? Mm. The Safeway stores back then. You meat know and saying? cigarettes? Yes, made an aggravated robbery then. You know, and I didn't understand that. And you had a pistol? Did you? I should have. Yeah, My because if it's aggravated. It me out like that, and I, I never robbed anybody, but I ended up with a robbery case. Wow, they just slid it in yeah, there on you. You know, just crossed me out. So the court system was corrupt. It, it really was, you understand me? Still I, is. I, I, just, I wouldn't say that I was guilty for no aggravated robbery. If anything, theft like it was. Wow. Nothing, no evidence, just for somebody to say he's the one. Mm -hmm. And that was the butcher, you know, they, they had no meat, no cigarette, no knife, no nothing. How old was you at this time, about 20-something? Uh, I was, uh, how long I was? I was... Because you was 19 at first. At the first, first one, right. I got a last sin at the age of 27. 27. Okay. And so, and that was his third time. Yeah. So, how, how, and I was asking because I wanted to know how much aggravated life carried at that time, which you had to do before you could come up for parole. Well, you aggravated life. So I've done twenty-one calendar years. Wow. So you did twenty-one on, years. Come on. At that, uh, that time. Yeah, I done. I'll come on at the age of forty-two. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm sixty-seven now. Missed a, a lot of your life. And still having to deal with parole. Yeah, for the rest of my life. Mm. And uh, I seen a fireplace poker. I picked it up and I grabbed it by the hook. And I went in and I hit him 32 times in the back of the head. Wow. This by the grace of God. 32 times. And I don't believe it was for him. It was for me that he lived. That's that anger you were letting out. He was a Shriner. Wow. And Shriners are Mason supporters. Correct. He was a Shriner. And to top it off, they are also the ones that support the Celebrity Boys Club camp. So I was taking out a lot of anger that I had on some of the abuse that I received there. Did you? You knew he was a shriner when this was happening. When I when we opened the door, you when saw I, the. Yeah, I seen the the fizz. You know what the fizz is, right? The hat. Mm -hmm. Um, 
and his little trophies and stuff. And uh, it's just like. Everything came flashing back. I went completely white calm. It's it's like there was no, the whole thing was, everything I did was methodical. And it scares me to think, you know, because when I get into a situation, uh, it don't matter if it's, I'm driving and a diesel damn near runs me over. It's like this white calm comes over me and I just, I go, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, somehow I make it through it. And uh, I don't know, man. It, it just, I want to channel that to a better mm -hmm. way. And that's what I've been trying to do since I've been out. Yeah. How long you been on? Uh, almost six years. Six years. So uh, when you when, when you look at uh, what you guys done, I know clearly that you're remorseful for it. Um, that old man, he didn't deserve that. And I don't, I'm not to judge whether he did or didn't, but I wish to God it hadn't have been me. Yeah. I wish that I had done something like steal a damn car and get my time that I got because, honest to God, knock on wood, I'm going to tell you, I needed that time. Well, let me ask you this. When, how did you guys get caught? We drove around in the man's car for over a week. Wow. Went all the way up to Louisiana, hawking jewelry and stuff, and uh, just over the border, come back and uh, drinking and I mean, thinking not, you not weren't going to get caught because that's the thing I can't understand when people do certain things and I'm like it's his car so police is already tracking that why wouldn't you think that because they thought he was dead <laughs> my fall partner uh, I told him hey where's the keys and uh, my fall partner is sitting there with him well he's still alive I said well shit cut his throat wow and my fall partner had found a lock timer, old timer's lock blade, and that thing was duller than his pen is on the side. Thank God. It didn't register to me. If it had, I probably would have told him to get a butcher knife. Um, so I go out to the car, try to start the car, and I'm shaking so bad because my adrenaline's pumping. I can't get the damn key in. And uh, fall partner says, man, he's still alive. I said, well, shit, cut his throat some more. And I think about that, and it's just, it's like, man, I had so much anger that life didn't mean shit to me, you know, because of all the things that had happened to me in my life. No, I no, need to be on somebody else. Same yeah. Way. Well, let, no, me, let, let that, me ask you this, though. So don't mean to cut you off, but after you've done that, this guy, y'all drove around in his car. You end up getting caught. When you get caught, you go to court and all that. Does he show up? That's to exactly court? what I was thinking. Yes. So you know that he hadn't. So he showed up to court. Mm hmm. I was. So you had to face him. Yeah, but. But you weren't remorseful at that time. No, no. I didn't. How were you feeling at that time? I was more scared. I was just. The only thing I was, it was about me. And it's all it ever was. When I was younger, after the stuff that happened to me at five, and it's it's about me, you know, fuck the world. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.